Ah, good morning, my hearties. A very good morning to you. Monday morning, and it's a quarter to eight in the morning. I thought we'd just do a quick pop-up to see how you all were and to say hi. Nothing wrong with that. Dinky do, and welcome to Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster. Hashtag float high, the first lord of the internet. Thank you for all your support yesterday when I was asking you if you thought I'd make a good Prime Minister for the United Kingdom, uh, Great Britain and Northern Ireland. So there we are. So very, very much appreciated. A lot of complimentary things were said amongst social media. Because remember, Scotty McClure's on all these platforms, and you can catch up with me mainly at Scotty McClure, except for Twitch, which is Scotty underscore McClue. So there we are. So lovely to have you with us, and thank you do. Thank you for joining us. As soon as you join us, do follow. We're only up for a few minutes, so it's nice to say hi to everybody and uh, say thank you do and a very good morning to you. There's Dara joining us, and Liam has joined us. Excellent, Liam. Thank you very much for that. Very much appreciated. TikToks, top talk show. Uh, these are random pop-ups, so can I suggest that you set your notifications so that you never, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue. You miss a moment of McClue, you miss a moment of life. And that's not good for you, and it's not good for any of us. So you don't want to be missing a bit of the information, education, and entertainment that we do on here on TikTok, Dinky Doo. Uh, come and join us as soon as you possibly can. Tell us where you are watching. Pop in your comments, and I shall give you a shout-out. I think that's excellent, of course. Into the shower with you if you're off to work, because some of you need to be at the house by 8 o'clock, and you're cutting it fine, I say. But there we have it, Dinky Doo. So many lovely people joining us this morning, and a very, very warm welcome. But also, please do make sure you follow. Now, there's lots of new videos for you on the TikTok, so I hope you'll be watching these today, and also share them as well, and give us a little like. Hello from Dundee, Ruski. We love you in Dundee, a Dundonian. Fantastic. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Sparky boy. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do to you, I say. Wonderful. Everybody joining us now. That's what we like to see. Hello from Forfar. Oh, I love Forfar. I enjoy a couple of Forfar brides. Yes, well, doesn't anybody let's have it straight, you know, unless you're not into beautiful pastries. And Forfar itself, what an outstanding part of the world. Yes, I would love to live there. Uh, so I'll save up. <laughs> Morning from Clyde Bank. We love you in Clyde Bank, Stevie boy. Thank you do the Kobari Road. Yes, indeed. And uh, Dune to the Harbour. Fantastic. Not that far. Uh, it's not that far. No, you're absolutely right. Dundee and Forfar. Up the jock, Scotty. There's a moose loose about the house. There certainly is, Alan. And it's lovely to have you with us just for a few minutes in the morning to say dinky do from Scotty McClure. That's what we like. Dinky do, I say to you. And there is very much a moose loose about this house. Get yourselves. I have a glass here of fine Scottish water. Mmm. Oh, that's lush. We do enjoy that. Uh, thank you, Sophia, for your beautiful follow. What an outstanding human being you are. It's very, very much appreciated. As I say, we're only up for a few minutes, so always grab Scotty McClure. Set your notifications, guys. The man in the gym yesterday talked about my effort on the machine and my sweat. Yes, well, maybe he's a professional. You see what I mean? Uh, I find gyms are a bit of a, a sweatshop. Kunzel Juice, absolutely. Kunzel Juice, fantastic stuff. And Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. Do get following as soon as you come on. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue on TikTok just for you saying Dinky Doo. Yes. Do you know Dundee well? Well, pretty well, Cleppy, uh, Cleppy Road, um, the Mingus Hill, the Douglas and Angus, the Whitfield. The, um, what else have we got? Uh, oh, uh, all these lovely places, Dune to the Brochty Ferry, the Clayports, the, uh, the Kingsway, <laughs> the Aberdeen Road, Ken, there we are. Um, 
What else have we got? We've got Camperdoon Park. How's that? Is that any good just for starting us? The Law Hill, Ken, the hill of Strathmartin. Uh, if the ceiling is a roof, the floor of the people above, is it dancing in the ceiling? Well, yes. I mean, I used to stay in a flat, and there was a lot of dancing in the ceiling from upstairs. I can tell you, greetings from Scapa Flow in Texas. We love you in Texas. Chris, thank you for your beautiful gift. You're a top viewer. That's crazy. Absolutely. Did you like that one? See, not too bad. Uh, follow us as soon as you can, guys. Very, very important. Thank you, Yags, for your very fine follow. We need to have everybody following Scotty McClure. 150th Open has started here at St. Andrews. Yes, and I well remember the first one with Uncle Tom. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Dinky-doo, I say to you, that's what it's all about. Uh, Ruski has sent us some likes. I thank you, Ruski. That's so beautiful of you. Something tells me you're a Jaguar man. Do you know, Martin, don't be telling anybody, but I am. You know, I've had two of them. Yes, indeed. We had the 4-2 and we had the, the V12. Oh, crazy stuff nowadays. You don't want to be having to fill one of those up nowadays. I can tell you. Would you drink water from a dirty jug? It depends where you are. I think if you're in the desert, uh, uh, deep in the Sahara, and it's very much a matter of life and death. Uh, but if the jug is dirty, you could be choosing death. Anyway, depends what you mean by dirty, you see. Wow, thank you very much. Thank you for my beautiful Mike, Chris. Chris Mike has sent a mic. What a lovely, lovely thing to do. Can I tell you something? You can tell me something, uh, you know, but remember that the whole world is watching. So there you go. So don't be saying any secrets. Scotty, my man, <coughs> I've been left with my baby on my own for the first time. And um, as the woman goes to work, wish me luck. Listen, you will be outstanding. You're a natural father. So there you are, Scotty, long time. Happy morning, Monday morning to you. Fuzzy, Kev, it's been far too long. Don't leave it so long next time, Kev, because I'm making all these beautiful TikTok videos for you guys. You know what I mean? Would you fight a dinosaur-sized duck uh, or a hundred duck-sized dinosaurs? Well, I wouldn't fight them at all. I would feed them. I think we need to be a lot kinder. I don't think St. George should have slain the dragon. I think you should have got him down to just a fine puff of smoke with a lovely smile on his face. Um, how much is too many Scottish euros? You can't have too many Scottish euros. Yes, you've got knowledge. What's the biggest life lesson you learned? Uh, to be yourself and to never, ever, ever get involved with anyone who is a narcissist or a sociopath. I've only met one very, very bad man in my life. The rest have been beautiful. There we are. Uh, they died in the war, a war only known by those who fought in it. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. Why did you shave it off, the beard? I thought I'd give the face a break, but as you can see, it's getting a bit irritated, you know, uh, and we need to get it more irrigated. Last time um, was in public. Ah, there you are. You're giving us, you're giving us your life story now. Chris has sent me another beautiful gift there. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. Absolutely. A thunder hammer. Any comments on Boris Johnson? Uh, Boris Johnson, I think, is a remarkable individual, but I think he was the wrong guy, in the wrong place, at the wrong time. And I don't think that he has the application for that particular role. So there you are. But we'll see who has... I've thrown my hat in the ring, but I'm obviously an outsider because I'm not a politician. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, now, what uh, that doesn't mean I couldn't do the job for you and uh, be very honest with you, but I might get lobbied not to tell the truth, you see. So that would be tot, tot, totity, tot, 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 I see. And uh, my legs feel like they're falling off. Any advice? Yes, try and keep them on. What are you getting? Are you getting an 
arthritic feeling? Are you getting a stiffness? Are you getting uh, uh, atrophy in the muscles? Are you getting cramps? We need to know a bit more. I mean, I don't give on a diagnosis for two reasons. One, I haven't seen you. And two, I'm not a doctor. You see? So that's, uh, that's why we don't do that. Um, Baras got the country, Boris, I think you mean, not Bairos. Uh, Bairos got the country through a difficult time. Who could have done that better? Well, I don't know, Fuzzy Kev. I think Jeremy Corbyn would have been interested. I mean, you know, I'm not to the left or anything like that. But Jeremy Corbyn got, um, you know, really politically assassinated by people that were very frightened that he was so good and he's about to get in. You know, that sort of thing. That's how we do things in this country. Happy to report I've been supportive of Scotty McClure for scroll in my scrolling around the world. Yes, I'm very happy that you have reported that, you wonderful person, Chris. There we go. Uh, Nicola Sturgeon would have done a much better job. Now, I was wondering, do you think Nicola Sturgeon should become the UK PM? Ah, there's an interesting one for you. You know, I, I, I think she'd be very good. There we go. Now, who have we got here? Any opinion on the Scottish referendum? Yes, I think they should have one. But I think it's very important that every Scot becomes pro-monarchy. Yes, and uh, very much for the crown and for Queen Elizabeth as our sovereign lady and head of state for Scotland. Because I'm telling you this right now, if they don't, independence will be toast. And you can forget it, same as happened the last time. Yes, Scotty, Nikki Sturgeon for MP. Uh, for, oh, sorry, for PM. She's already, she's already an MSP. What's your thoughts on an independent Scotland? Okay, you just answered the question. Fuzzy Kev, I did. You've got to keep up on here. There we are, dinky-doo, I say to every single one of you. Right. Do join us, guys, as soon as you can. Get watching every single TikTok video. Very important. And get liking and sharing and telling 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. What of mouth. Where is Scotty McClue these days? Well, I saw him this morning on TikTok. And I've seen him on YouTube. And I've seen him on Twitch at Scotty underscore McClue. You know, that sort of thing. Freedom. Uh, the slippers need replacing. Do you think so? King of Thinkland. Yes, when you get up in the morning, don't put on your slippers. Put on your shoes. There we are. Uh, that was the advice my father got when he retired. The Scottish nationalists need to unite. There's too much divide among us. Well, I think being pro-monarchy will bring us all together with a chorus of God save the Queen. And you watch the nationalists just shoot right to the top of the favourites and independence will be just a matter of course. Uh, just a matter of time until Scotland's independent. Well, I spoke to a very senior Irish lady uh, yesterday who said to me that, no, day before, sorry, Saturday, who said to me, it's only a matter of time before Ireland reunifies. Very interesting, isn't it? How are you finding this Scottish summer? I am loving every second of it. I've got a wee bit of a tan already. There we are, Dinky Doo, Bobby from Bears Den. Lovely to have you with us, and Dinky Doo. Can you see this the right way around yet? I know you'll be able to read it, the boss. Ah, oh, never a dull moment, I say to you. But the Scottish summer's absolutely outstanding. We love it. Guys, have you followed me? Have you followed Scotty McClure on TikTok? That's your big mission in life. Get following. I'm going to have to go in a minute. And uh, there we are. I've got an eight o'clock this morning and uh, I've got one minute to get there. And um, only one boss. Yes, absolutely. Steely boy. There we go. Uh, Jack Nicholas is getting an honorary citizenship at St. Andrews. Well, he deserves it. I can't think of anybody more deserving. That's absolutely fantastic. Uh, thanks for all my likes, guys. Have you followed me? Get following as soon as you go on. Very important. It's all very well sitting there watching Scotty McClure. It's another thing to think. I'll just go up to the top left, click the plus sign, and follow the host. 
So there we are. So let's get some followers within the next 30 seconds. Isn't it a joy to watch the leadership fight? Yes, Bobby, it is. And have you heard I've put my hat in the ring? So Scotty McClure could be your next prime minister. But I do feel I'm a bit of an outsider just because I'm not a politician and I'm not a conservative as such because I'm apolitical. You see, I like your voice. May you say exquisite. How very kind of you, Kenneth. I thank you very much. Someone in London yesterday overheard them say, <coughs> pardon me, they were going to Scotland to see the Loch Ness Monster. Do they want the Loch Ness Monster to be the next PM? There we are. Imagine a monster as Prime Minister. What would that be like, I ask you? Um, well, we have had Margaret Thatcher, mind you. Yes. Anyway, uh, that's just me thinking out loud. Don't read anything into that. Guys, I'm going to have to go. There we are. Watch the movie Denial, says Chris. Wow! Is it set on the River Nile? There we have it. Denial. Uh, right, guys, I'm going to have to dash off. Take great care of your dear selves. Thank you for my beautiful 3,200 likes. Thank you for joining us this morning. Set your notifications. Let me know when Scotty McClure goes live. And we will chit chat anon. Stay fabulous. Take great care of your dear selves. And as we say in the best of every circle, and hopefully they're saying it this morning in the House of Commons. Dinky doo. Ta-ra, lads. <laughs>